Hi, this is Ann Borgard, and I'm the Ward 5 City Councilor, and we're here for Ward 5 in 10. Lots going on here. Today is October 7th, 2019. It's a little breezy out there, but the temperature is about 70, and we'll take it. It's probably the last time you'll see me in sleeveless dress for the rest of this year. But we want to warn people that the weather will change. Okay, a lot of things to talk about. Again, I'm Ian Borga, the Ward 5 City Councilor, 774-297-4939, uh, and A Beauregard, B-E-A-U-R-E-G-A-R-D, at cobma.us. As you can see, I have company, so that's why this is Ward 5 in 10, and this is Pedro, and he's the census master of the universe. He's uh, in charge here in this region of the Commonwealth, and we're going to be letting him speak shortly about a whole lot that has to do with Census 2020. Meanwhile here, let's talk about a few things here. It is October. Everybody's in school. It's getting dark earlier, unfortunately, and let's be careful of the kids, please. Let's face it, a lot of the jackets they wear are darker colors, and unfortunately, we don't always see them, and we've got the uh, trees and the foliage coming through, so please be careful. Now, the uh, firefighters had their annual uh, open house for the fire station, and reminding people, check smoke detectors, please, and please check your carbon monoxide detectors. We don't want to have any tragedies. You deserve to be safe where you live. Okay. Now, the last day to register to vote for this important election on November 5th is Wednesday, October 16th. City Hall will be open till about 8 o'clock in the Elections Commission office. Okay. We are aware, too, that you can register to vote as um, the Registry of Motor Vehicles. And also online if you have a driver's license in Massachusetts, because they just compare it. Okay, absentee ballot requests will begin. And remember, you can call and ask for one. You can print one online. But they need your signature to send you a ballot. We've got a whole lot happening here. Mayor, at large, city ca ward councilors, and school committee. Be part of the process. This is your city. Again, this is the Borgard Ward 5 in 10 extended. All right, ticks. People, please be careful. It's gorgeous out. I know a lot of you are working on your yards. Um, be careful with your animals and your kids. Please check, check again, all right? Also, the Triple E. You know that that's changed plenty of sports times and we just want people to be protected. It's cooling off, so I have a feeling the mosquitoes won't feel so welcome. <laughs> but in the interim, please be careful. Unfortunately, the Commonwealth has lost a lot of innocent victims this year to that terrible disease. Okay, now I cannot begin to tell you how much is going on in this city, but a lot of it is good. First of all, we want to congratulate the Garden Club for celebrating 90 years. They hosted presidents from the whole region of Garden Club, and they were recognized by the state and the city for their wonderful accomplishments, from white gloves and tea to sustainability and community gardens. So anyway, fun events. Well, Pedro and I were just talking about Shoe City Festival and Downtown Brockton Fest. If you missed it, I'm sorry for you because <laughs> we had a ball. We were absolutely thrilled with th this whole event and no surprise. Downtown Fest continues to have a variety of different events, most of which take place at the Brockton Public Library. Remember, all this is free, so I don't want to hear that you're trying to break the bank here. All right, it's very, very important for people to realize there's a variety of different things. If it's not about boxing, it's about, oh, I know, tomorrow night we're having a to know, I'm sorry, uh, Wednesday night will be Representative Prime Minister from Cape Verde. There is historical presentations. There is incredible art exhibit at the um, library right now uh, from a Korean uh, artist. You should see it. It is incredible and colorful. Uh, that I can guarantee you. Plus all the activities for kids that are free. Go to www.broughtonpubliclibrary.org to find out. The symphony is kicking off this season, and they've been around for over 85 years. See, this is a great city, and there's been a lot of great people making it a lot of uh, 
how would I say, good for an awful long time. Again, I'm Ann Borga, the Ward 5 City Councilor, and plenty of people have concerns, 774-297-4939. Now, Fuller Museum is getting ready to celebrate 50 years. We can be go, go there for free. We're their guests. So check it out, because 50 years is a long time of arts and crafts, and let me tell you, they come from the world over. And if you think you missed out on all the fun, you haven't. Tower Fest is this Saturday, 11 to 4. That's free fun for everyone, and we want to warn people parking goes like that. So you might want to park at the Greek church and do the little shuttle, or if you're really in great shape, climb up that hill. And, uh, you know, so again, that um, is this weekend, Columbus Day weekend. We want to remind you, too, the municipalities and government offices are closed on Monday, October 14th. Again, as I always let people know, again, there's another great event, and this we haven't had ever before. This is the Wildland Trust event, uh, we, uh, party celebrating preservation of area uh, off of Pearl Street and uh, mm -hmm. Pleasant. And we want to let people know that that event is taking place the following week, the 19th. So again, free fun for everyone. You like nature, you like music, you like art, you like animals. This is the place to be. Oh, and if you like sports, too, Broughton High um, is having their homecoming that same afternoon. So there's plenty to do in Broughton, and there's just not always plenty of time to do it. So anyway, we'd like to join. We'd like to see you there. Have some fun. Check the city's website, too. You know we got a fancy new website with a lot of great stuff going on. And, of course, watch Broughton Community Access because they let you know what's going on. Again, as I always let people know, there's plenty of positions and on the commissions and the boards. Come to a meeting. Check it out. You own this city, as I always say, and since you can't put it on eBay and sell it, and you can't have a yard sale, the more you're part of it, the more you control it. And again, that shows certainly on November 5th with Election Day, but again, I cannot begin to tell you how important it is to attend these meetings and find out what's happening with property, with uh, downtown, with, uh, let's see, uh, our water. Uh, it's just endless. Endless, and we'd be happy to let you know. Again, um, you can visit me, at, um, email me at aborregard at cobma.us. And last but not least, Broughton Community Access is covering many, many candidate events. So if you don't know who they are, this is a great way to find out. In your own living room, put your feet up, relax, just like the Patriots game, just as exciting, and then you create the score. So anyway... Um, again, I'm, I'm going to let my guest take over okay. here. This is Pedro, and he's, the, the like I said, the Commander-in-Chief of the Census for this region. I can't thank you enough for um, having, you know, letting me talk to you once a month. This is the 45th time, so thank you for allowing me to come into your living rooms or to come on your iPhones or, wow, um, things have changed, <laughs> and to talk about great things going on. So please, uh, let's talk about this. 2020 census and how vital it is to Broughton. So, Pedro, uh, let's give a little talk about yourself oh, here. Yeah. And yes, oh, okay. I warned you. Yep, it's your, <laughs> it's your show now. <laughs> no, thank you for it. No, thank you for inviting me to here. Oh, so, you're welcome. We're glad to of, have you. Yeah, yeah. I've been here in the city of Broughton for almost 30 years. So, this is my third census. Unreal, people. Unreal. So yeah. 20, you know, 2000 and 2010 and 2020 now. So my job here in the region is one of the punishments, especially that we have here in Massachusetts. We have about, about 25 to 30 punishments, especially across the region. I'm part of doing uh, southeastern Massachusetts, covering all this town. Brockton is a, is a big target for us, and also the different town that we have around the city. 2020 census is coming pretty fast. So we started this punishment program around three years ago, 2017. So we started working with the Secretary of State, Telling right. town clerk, mayor about the importance of getting on board by that right. time because we know that was approaching. So we got different organizations that helping us with the census. Because even the census is a national event yes. taking place at the local level. For that reason, the partnership program, we partner with the entire spectrum of the community. Talking about, talking about elected official or mayor or, or town clerk, talking about chamber of commerce, Elector, uh, religious organization, community-based organization, 
everything that is part, like you mentioned before, everything that is part of the community, we're helping us to get this tremendous chance. And for that reason, we hire people on the old community. So we hire people that know the street, that know the area, that are interested in doing something, not only making some money, for making some contribution for the own community. Because remember, the census, even though the census is important regarding to money that we receive from the federal government, for example, 675 million is just dispersed based on census data. Also, like you mentioned, a census is important because it's a portion of the U House representatives is based on the census number. Wow, remember that, people, yes. So we remember that each state got two senators. Yeah. Well, the state representative, the U.S. representative, they got based on the population. So more population that show in the census, more representative that, that probably we have in the U.S. US House of Representatives. So, and like I mentioned before, the census include everybody. So the father of the Constitution mentioned that we include everybody regarding to the a citizen or not. Count everybody that is in the United States by April 1st. That's a, a symbolic day, April 1st. So for the first time, we are doing the census also online. People got a chance, the opportunity now with all this technology. People go online by March, the big mid March, oh, they got to yes. start receiving. You got oh, something yes, we here? have some dates here. Yeah, I don't know if you want to highlight what's this March 12th, you get the invitation. And um, oh, you said an invitation to respond online, and that's 12th to 20th. And uh, March 16 to 24, a reminder letter now, mm -hmm. if you haven't, reminds you of school. If you haven't responded yet, March 26 to April 3rd, a reminder postcard. And <laughs> all I can picture is warning, warning. April 8th, a reminder in a paper questionnaire. And 20th to 27th, a final reminder. And then they'll follow up and find you in person. So you're not going to see people for a long time. But I, I definitely wanted you to talk about a few a few things, how you said online. Mm -hmm. And we I wanted to emphasize, too, it's very important for people to understand, you will never receive a phone call from the census. Yes, and I think you, I think you'll be able to explain. Oh yeah, and I got yes. a couple of information here that because yes. like I say, with the, when the, every time that the Census Bureau came with that, with the 20, with the decennial census that we call, the scammer came with the census. So people, we never ask people about social security. We never ask people about bank account. We never Remember ask that, any, people. Yes. anything that regarding personal to the people. Phone number, we have phone number because when the people complete the questionnaire, probably we might have some question regarding to the, to the accuracy of the questionnaire. So that's the reason we have the phone number. But it's important that people make sure that we don't call people to do the census over the phone. We try to avoid that. That's the reason we ask people for the first time going online and start completing the questionnaire. Also important thing is that we're looking for a people now, employment. We got employment opportunity for the people. And this time, for the first time, people can go also, we got the partner with the library, that people can go to the library if they don't have any computer or the house, and they'd be helping us to, helping people to complete the question, the, uh, the uh, oh, so you can have job application. Basically. Okay, just similar to a job application. Yeah. So as we have in the background here, there's plenty of job opportunities, as, as Pedro has highlighted. Weekly pay, which surprised me, because usually federal government is every other week or once a month even. But this is, you know, pay, flexible hours. Some of the jobs start at $18 an hour. And this is what yeah. most people, now correct me if I'm wrong, uh -huh. can make their own hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some people, we are flexible all because remember, yeah. this work can only take between eight to six weeks. Yeah. So people are still working full time. Sure. And people can, on the weekend, starting, you know, mid-May, people can go house to house to house to get the people, the people that do not complete the questionnaire since the March on the three yeah. form that we have. So we try to avoid census taker to the house because it's more cost effective to the census bureau. So sure. we try to people in the comfort of the home, complete the questionnaire online. If not, also you gotta receive the paper, some location sure. that don't have access to the to the internet, or for example, the senior center that we tell senior, don't go online. So we also have that option available for them to go and, uh, and complete that, by mail. I, I, I can't, yeah, council, do they have the, um, also, as you mentioned, f fill out the traditional form. And now also, I believe, did you tell me that seniors can call 
and, and, and reply to the census on the phone with the census taker. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah, we got on the phone, yeah. People will, we, and in this time, we got live people on the phone. We don't have a tape recorder. Say, remember that live people to help you through this. And we're really emphasizing this because it's very important for individuals that might be concerned or have, you know, physical ailments that are a little harder to use a keyboard or, um, you know, fill out a form and write it out. But what's very important, is, as you know, Pedro keeps on mentioning here, is the libraries will be sites where people can go on to, you know, a desktop, key it all in, and if they have any questions, someone will be there. So these are going to be sites mm -hmm. for the census. And um, you were talking before we, we started about how there's various complete count committees. And I guess I wanted oh, yeah. your input on that, yeah, For too. example, yeah. part, of the, part of the helping out with the complete count committee, we got a guy here. Oh, we, the Secretary of State and the Census Bureau, we are partnered together. So we encourage to each town and city to to create a complete count committee, which involves the whole spectrum of the community. For example, the first thing is the elected official, the mayor or the town clerk, they start selecting people, and we encourage them with this guy, people, uh, church, chamber of commerce. Oh, yeah, that's very important. Community, church you know, is the a com really good uh, location uh, for that, yes. Community-based college, the university that we have in the area. So every, everybody can contribute or make some idea how we can tackle the census in the city of Brockton. Because we know that the city of Brockton has more than 100,000 people. But if people do not complete the questionnaire, we are in trouble. So remember, we, for example, I as employee, I can go to jail for five years or fine $250,000 if I disclose any individual information on the form. So we don't share this information with ICE, with any federal agency. Has That's been. very important to know, too, that this is confidential information. And the real p a part of this is, I'm um, sorry to, you know, to emphasize this mm -hmm. enough, it is to get the complete count. Because the better the count, as you mentioned before, statewide, it means we could get another congressional seat, which is interesting. Another part of it's huge is from, from a perspective of an elected official like me, I want to see more federal funds come in for our infrastructure. People want their streets paved, and we know that we, we need to replace pipes and sewer lines, et cetera. This is not glamorous, but no one wants to stop having indoor plumbing and, get, and, and wants to be afraid to go down a street because of what it could do to their car. And that's, that's why, I mean, you looking at this as your contribution, it doesn't cost you anything, and we cannot emphasize enough about these jobs because uh, all this is going to be on Brockton Community Access at 1-855-JOB-2020. And what we, again, at different ages, is there, um, how old do you have to be to apply? have to be 18 years old. 18, so that's years. really advantageous for a lot of people, you know, for anybody who's, hey, looking for extra money to buy a car or pay the car insurance, well, that's always so expensive. <laughs> uh, people that want to work on, you know, do something to the house, vacation, whatever, extra funds. And I know you're hiring senior citizens, because I know a couple yeah. of senior citizens already got the position. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just huge. I mean, we're lucky. We're very lucky to have Pedro. This is his third time. So he knows all the ins and outs. And he was talking about how Massasoit's going to be yeah. a, a hot spot. And that's great, too, because anybody know college students that come back, you know, especially a lot of them come out in May mm -hmm. um, from college. And, you know, that would be something to do. Plus, you know, get their other job. Cannot emphasize that you make your own hours. I mean, granted, you don't knock on anybody's door at 2 in the morning. Or go, but you can't. Sometimes you're just yeah. checking to see the street yeah. exists, I heard. Flexible. Flexible. Yes. We talk flexible hours. You know, you can, <laughs> because some people, you want to flexible, for example, because this job mostly could be at night or over the weekend. When sure. people, we, get, we wanted to find out people in the hall to do the, you know, to helping them, we complete the, the questionnaire. And another important thing is that children, children under five, they were really undercounted in 2010. And that's not good because that means money for our schools at yes. every level. And we want to make sure that happens. You have a baby. You count the baby. Yes, and um, that's, that's really huge. I mean, I'm, I'm very grateful that you're here today and we have all this packet information. Now, am I, I was going to let you talk a little bit about how all this information is going to be available everywhere and Council on Agents is going to be a primary um, you know, situ 
uh, area and how you are already traveling to various mm -hmm. communities. But I just, I wanted you know, to spread this out here, so if I could let you, you know, well, mention you know, a couple of things. Also, with the sense of beauty that we got out, so with the, all the partners that we have made, I went to the city, all the partners that we have, like I mentioned, community-based organization, financial institution, we got the college, we got Bridgewater State University, we got Stonehill College. Oh, great, so yes. So all, all these partners, we got the church, we got the, all the community-based organization, because all these, they use the census information. All the census data, business decision, are made on this. If you are a community-based organization, they look always for the data from the census. So you got an accurate data from the census, because remember, we got to stick for this census for the next 10 years. Yes. So it's really important that we get it an accurate account because this number got to stick with us for the next 10 years. And so much can change in a day, let alone 10 years. So I think I think this is really important. We wanted to emphasize this for the seniors. We did say that brought to neighborhood health centers participating yes. in this too. I was trying to think medical places will provide, you know, have Good Samaritan Hospital, Brockton Hospital. Hospital. They will the be entire spots. community. Yes. I touch everybody, and if nobody get in touch by me, you got my, my, my phone number here. Sure, we follow so, up. So you know, that's, yes. that's what I do, try to get everything, everybody involved in the community like I did in 2010. We got to do it again, and we try to surpass the, you know, the 100,000 people from the city of Brooklyn. And, that, and that's, we, we cannot emphasize, I mean, they're not giving out your information. They just want a head count, and it is so vital for so many reasons. And, and again, like, Several years back, we lost a representative because we were losing people. They were all moving to Florida because it was too cold here. But anyway, in all seriousness, we've grown. And if we need another co congressperson, we want one because the more advocates we have in Washington for us, the better. But really, what's very important is the funding aspect that comes to this community. And that means for public safety. I mean, I'm always talking about infrastructure, public safety. Uh, we need if we need new fire engines if we need new police vehicles we cannot it, that funding comes from federal to state and it's dispersed a lot of environmental cleanup activity and for our schools yep. and so the ptos and the ptas everyone can be a part of this again we emphasize this as, as you mentioned the confidentiality is vital and I, I never knew that that was a felony if you were to give out any confidential information and that's really very important that you're not speaking to any other agencies so no one has any questions as far as that's concerned oh and i'm sorry no. i want to highlight the yes. interpreters uh, and yes yeah, and, and another thing is that very yes. important that when we send the census taker to the house they got an id Identification. Oh, oh, yes. So this is ID, and people, if you can confirm, because we are the census bureau employee, you can confirm with our email that we are really okay. a census employee. Also, we got a, a number that I can give you later that if you see some fraudulent activity that we already happened, we can report that activity oh, to, wow. the, to, okay. to, so to that's, the local, yes. to the local so people. And, what, and, what's, and what's that number? I, I got to give you the number. I don't have it with me. Oh, okay. I can provide you a number. Oh, we're going to provide And them. we got out through the, yes. our website, but it's important that people don't give money to anybody asking for this incident. Oh, that's really important too. No, it doesn't cost you bank anything. Account, and, 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 no bank social account. Social security. No social security. And we don't yes. collect on behalf of any political party. No. Normally. Okay, so this is nonpartisan, and this is going to be important because this is all going to be on Broughton Community Access. We're going to see activity like this in the libraries. We're going to see activities, information spread throughout. And I wanted to emphasize too: somebody has trouble, you know, with the command of the English language. You have interpreters, yeah. and I'm also to understand that if someone is sight impaired, there's people to assist. Yep. And hearing impaired, we're they're prepared to count you, and you want to be counted. I mean, again, we're very lucky because a lot of people don't have a veteran like us here, and Pedro is been throughout and I've worked with him on the 2000 and as a community representative and again in 2010 because and any of you can get involved that's really important you're going to begin to see more and more information on this it's going to be constantly on Broughton community access we're going to have Pedro back in the spring yes. and some big continue emphasizing this but if you leave with nothing else uh, they don't want any of your 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 phone number they, I'm sorry they don't want your Social Security number, they don't want your bank account number, they don't want any of that, they don't want any money from you. Remember all those important things. Very important for you to understand that they're getting the, the, the very limited information on, on to get a headcount, 
to get an idea. And you will see people walking around because they've already have the, the pre-counters, mm -hmm. as I'll refer to them, and they have their ID badges on them. I saw them at the end of the summer. And so you, you'll know that these people are not, uh, uh, what I say, they, they're all screened. I want to emphasize that by, the, it, by several different entities. So that we, we cannot emphasize that enough. So we're, we're really, today, we're grateful to have Pedro here. Pedro has the number here for the jobs again, 1-855-JOB-2020. There's going to be a variety of information everywhere in the community. I'm Ian Beauregard, and I'm the Ward 5 City Council. This is Ward 5 and 10 Extended, 774-297-4939. A Beauregard at cobma.us. Please, people, enjoy the fall month and be safe out there. Remember your smoke detectors and your uh, carbon monoxide detectors, please. This is the time of year to think about that. And Halloween's coming, so let's all be safe and enjoy a good and, and wonderful Halloween and check out all the great stuff going on in Broughton. Thank you. And thank you, Mike Simmons, our new producer. And he's doing an amazing job, and he has all the patience in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you for that.